Yo, it's just me again. Since we're doing the paint thing, uh, the last few videos I've done, we've done some teal, some black duck. Uh, I did a wood duck. Um, I was packing those away on the shelf, uh, ready to give away to the mate. And um, I thought, well, bugger it, let's do a quick hardhead, um, which will only take, well, probably 30 seconds as well. Reason beans, because it should be only two colours. So I've kept the Rust-Oleum camouflage paint out, which is that brown colour. That's the non-reflective one. And we've also got some flat white primer. There we go. So that's a Rust-Oleum. So won't hold you up too long, I'm guessing. Let's do the whole thing in brown. Camouflage paint. There we go. It's actually starting to dry off already, being that rust in brown. So I'll give it a couple of minutes. I'll switch the uh, camera back on and then we'll do another color. Right oh, back to you in a minute. So I've let it dry for probably about five minutes, not totally dry. Of course, you guys would probably let it dry well and truly between coats. Um, I did forget another color, so we're probably gonna need the brown probably a little bit of black for his beak and I'll probably darken off that head giving the mohawk like we did in the other videos and of course the white so I'll just grab the black and give him a bit of a mohawk from the front to back try and get it on camera so there we go all I do is try and get that back straight across the head there There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll just, while we've got the spray can out, we'll just go around the front of that beak. There we go there. I'll do the other side. Right, eh? So that's his head darkened off with the black. Looks a bit shiny now, but of course we're using the black chalkboard paint again and that'll uh, dry that matte finish so right oh that's that one and of course with our hard head just from observing them out in the ponds and all that sort of stuff we do have a little bit of white around that tail and of course our eye they've got a really distinctive white eyeball so I will have to get that with a paintbrush but we'll see how we go I'll just give him a little bit of a white tail There we go there. Just spray painted that white tail. What I'll do now is just uh, out of view. I've just basically spray painted a little bit of white on the board. If I can find a paintbrush. There we go there. If it wants to work. And all I'm going to do is instead of using the brush of the paintbrush, I'm going to turn it around. And the reason being is just so, if you want to get real fussy, hopefully you can see it, you can actually dob the eyeball like that and get a nice real round dot in his eye. So I'll do the other one. Don't know whether you can see it. There we go. And try and swirl it around. So to me, that looks like a nice Australian hardhead. And hopefully that'll attract some more of those bad boys. F-18s just whizzing into the decoy spread. So there we go. Australian hardhead. Hope you enjoyed that one. Well, it's just me back again. I just thought I'd touch up the last little bit of the video and just show you what it looks like when it's dried off.
So there we go there. Just so it wasn't as shiny on the actual video, I just thought I'd give you a look at the actual duck when it had dried off. So as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Quick little video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button or hit my subscribe button. Uh, leave any comments down below if you want to see any other decoys touched up or done. Uh, more than willing to help everyone out. See you later.